Yep. All over. Is that not true? Definitely. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Just do what you want and see what you can get away with. Exactly. Sure. Man in the back, you're next. Does the board have the authority to make a foreclosure on a property? Up in Ohio. Y yes, we, we, we could. Yes. We, yes, we can. Could. can yes. But the yes. bank always has precedence. What's that? Yes. The bank always has precedence. Yeah, so you could you could initiate it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Board, Absolutely. It costs us. Yes. So yeah. the the point I'm saying is this. I would assume that this guy you were talking about earlier owes the association a lot of money. I would also assume that the guy never pays and he keeps stringing out the games forever and ever. And then you made the comment, which is good. If we nail this guy, the bank will take over and foreclose. Who cares? You got rid of the guy, and now you've got a paying person in there that follows rules. Yeah. I mean, we're just trying you know, to recover what we have out there before no, the bank grabs it. No, I understand this, but what I'm saying, Bill, is if the guy keeps playing the game, if a person. Well, there's already a lien on his house. Well, I know. But force the issue, get rid of him. And if you lose the money that's owed, oh well, he's going to keep owing you more money. The, the problem is, in this particular case, I think we looked into it and it was upside down. Okay. So if, if we foreclose, let's say we foreclose. Yeah, get rid of it. And, and you say, okay, well, gee, the bank has to be paid. Sure. They get their money first because they're first, sure. they're first the record. And he's gone. Then, uh, well, he's gone. And, and oh, by the way, uh, we, we've spent thousands of dollars foreclosing on this. And we literally get nothing back, but we lose everything that, that he owed us plus the thousands of dollars they paid for. No, oh, I understand that, but what I'm saying is it isn't working. The money that he owes, he isn't paying because he's playing the game. A person, when they pay their trim black, when they've got an approval to do for a, nail the guy. Oh, then we will. Yeah, nail I think the we guy. will. <laughs> so where it hurts, which will send a message to everybody else. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, right. that's what we're trying to do. Uh, uh, we'll be to you in the back in a second, sir. Well, uh, about two months ago, uh, we sent out 840 some violation letters. And yeah, we're down to what about 330 that haven't complied. Not that, yeah. So we we do catch their attention. A lot of people ask Tammy, well, if you called me and told me, I could have taken care of it. <laughs> we don't do that. They did. Gentlemen in the back, speak loud, please. Several subject, but you know, people doing what they want. But is there any requirement for the, the houses, single family homes, to have a backflow valve on their? Water intake because no. I see. No, it used to be, but they've gotten rid of it. The city has gotten rid of it. Okay, because a lot of homes that I walk around don't, don't have that anymore. Well, you'll see some of them that'll have a smaller plastic valve rather than the big brass one on there, and that's just a small backflow thing that but doesn't cost that much. But the, the big brass thing they have on there are not required anymore under the uh, construction laws. And they were always leaking. Yeah, because it needed to be replaced. Okay, let's get back to the motion we have on the floor here. Is there a motion? No. No. Because no. I, I will admit, I, I like Jamie's thought of kind of like putting a little dick. So I would make, make, make a motion, we find them $1,000 because they had a color that they were supposed to do. And if it's not fixed within a 30-day time frame, maybe it goes up to $2,000. Would you like to make that a motion? I thought I did. Yes. I would like to make a motion. <laughs> I'll second <I'll laughs> <say, I'll say. laughs> on what I just said. And I will second that. Okay. I, yeah, I, 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 <laughs> yeah, so you're going to say 30 days, right? I would say they have settled. It's, so it's 1000 So my motion is we find them $1,000 mainly because they, they, didn't follow follow right. they didn't follow just what they said yes for. Right. <clears throat> and then if it's not fixed within a 30-day time period, it goes up to 2000 And what if they fix it? They well, still they still pay. They still pay. That's what I say. It's they still enough because it was approved. Of. It's here. Passive. I, I mean, it's black and white. And they just question. Yes. Question, if you know, Tammy. I see at the bottom of this form, garage door must be painted body or trim color only. Did they do that? Do you know? It looks like they did. Yeah, it looks like, it the, looks like the pictures is, is like, like body color. Yeah, based yeah, on the black yeah and it looks like the body yeah. color. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, so what we're, now, what we're saying in your motion, Tom, is they're going to be fined $1,000, but within the next 30 days, they have to fix it anyhow. Yeah, so no matter what happens, there. and the main reason I'm, a, I'm saying the $1,000 is because 
we said to do this, you were approved for this, and you were just like, no, I'm going to paint this color name. So a minimum, it's going to be a thousand. But if it takes them um, more than thirty, 30 it goes days, to two thousand. Can we set a date on that instead of saying thirty days? Today's what the seventeenth? Fifteenth. Fifteenth. Oh, yeah, they have uh, come up with a date. Tom. March 15th? Well, why don't we do a March 31st just to... That gives them a lump and a half. March 31st. Yeah, no. Just in case the contract, you know, contractors are contractors. Well, sure time I get the letter out. Yeah. Okay. March 31st. March 31st. Okay. We'll so you second that, Rich. Is that okay with you, Rich? So that we make it the 31st? Sure. Okay. Well, you can second that. No, that was... Uh, Tom made the motion. I, I second Oh, you second it. Oh, second that's okay. Yeah, I, I think I we got too much flying here. Okay, we have a motion that will assess a one thousand dollar fine. And yes, ma'am. One thing that I would suggest is I agree with what you're saying that you're going to get charged the thousand dollars for not abiding by what was agreed upon. But if it's the painting isn't changed within your time limit, it's going to be an additional thousand. Right. That's, That's, what we said. That's, what we said. Yes. That's why we put the date on. If they haven't complied, it comes back to us and we okay. redo it. Okay, so we have the motion for $1,000 fine and, and it must be uh, co uh, corrected by the 31st of March. Okay, all in favor, raise your right hand. Okay, opposed, left hand, none, carried. Okay. Good suggestion, Jamie. Yeah. Okay, we've already discussed the current uh, CCNR violations. Now, I put the next item, number eight, in here, uh, Mark, so we could go through this again. I don't know, remember if it was you or someone else in my office, that we had agreed to go ahead and put a sign over here on Braxfield where the cart comes out. Right. But they cut those bushes down so low that I think it was you who said maybe we don't need the signs. Mm -hmm. That wasn't you? No. Okay, so I want to bring it up tonight. Do we want to still continue on to get the signs or not? Yeah. yeah, the sign is going to go on, on, on this side. The, the inbound sign. Yes, the inbound side. And it's going to, the sign was for uh, pedestrian and golf cart crossing. It was a combo yeah. sign. Right. Yeah. Okay, well, let me proceed with that then. Okay. Uh, AEDs are still on back order. I'll give them a call to see where they're at. Okay. Um, number 11, community environmental services on the preserves and aerators. Uh, we'll be getting a full in-depth report next month. Did you have any questions on what you wrote up on the aerators right now? If not, we'll go on. That was pretty clear. Uh, next item, JG Construction. This is the uh, cost, the proposal for the repairs on the sidewalks back there by the tennis courts and um, pickleball. So that's back there. That's not the front sidewalk. No, we're talking about the back there. This, this is right the car there. path back. We're talking about where you walk and around the, the tennis courts and, and around the pickleball and tennis courts. Right. Mm -hmm. And we've gotten a proposal now? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. in the packet yeah. that I gave you today. Yeah. And these are trip hazards. These are pretty these bad are trip, trip hazards. hazards, yeah. So we need to do it. Yeah, I make a motion that we approve this with JDR Construction Services. I'll second that, Jim. Okay, any discussion? Okay. Is it or is it just wrong? It's taking out the trip hazard, replace it, take out a, a piece of concrete, put a new piece of what uh what, what, no, just sections. Yeah, just okay. So there are people sitting there. out here, what we're talking about is right in this area here. Anything from the parking lot all the way back between the golf or the tennis court, the pickleball court, and the walkway along Everything here. Everything behind this building. Yeah. So, just for what it's worth, there's a thing called mud shank. Yes, we talked yes. about okay, that. Okay, that works great. You don't have to replace the concrete. They can raise it right up and level it. We talked about that, and uh, the results of that don't last that long with the water in the ground and stuff. Down here? Yeah. I, I did bring that up okay. because, and I'd asked Tammy to check on that. And we're with the contractor. He says, yes, he's done that. He says, but it doesn't last. Okay. You know, some of the problems you'll see if you go out there, they're 
uh, go, go, go orange marks on the ground where we're going to do the work. And there's one place that's been replaced and sunk down, so they're going to do it. But what he usually does, if you've got a, let's say, a five foot slab, he'll cut it in half to make it work right. And he does rebar the new concrete together, like to do on the highways, okay. to keep it from sinking. And there is some asphalt in there, too. So no, there really? Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. So we have a motion to go ahead with the proposal from JD Construction to do the walkways uh, back by the tennis court, pickleball courts, and around the uh, building here. Any more discussion? Seeing none, all in favor, right hand. Opposed? None. Okay. Next item, uh, Bill and I had Uniscapes on the phone today. There's been an issue that we see that the fountain at the front entrance is not pumping enough water out. Um, they asked us to check into, I guess, the motor that is in the rocks or some kind of filtering device. And if you don't clean that out regularly, that could affect the water. So we just found that out this afternoon and we'll look into that. Good. Okay, um, hopefully that's it. That's, yeah, that's the waterfall we're talking about. Yes, the front waterfall. Uh, next item, pressure washing of the community for the sidewalks. Uh, street gutters and any concrete pads for benches, trash cans, fire hydrants. I did receive three proposals. And, I think this uh, is kind of a no-brainer. Well, looking at the quotes. Before we go there, I just what happened to the company that did it the last two or three years? He's out of business. That's it. Okay. Now, on the first <laughs> estimate we okay. have. Um, I checked out the uh, Better Business Bureau. I can't find anything on them. Uh, I did send out an email to all of my camps for our 150 properties asking their opinion of this company. Not one person responded back, which means nobody's used them. I'm leery of using them. How long have they been around? That's the thing. Well, when I talked to the guy, he had another business, but I guess he sold it and went into business with this guy. And it just so happens I was doing a, a Zoom call with somebody and someone walked in and I said, well, I need another proposal. So that's how I came upon this one. But I'm not finding anything. I, I Googled him and he has one review from two years ago. One review, okay. May I ask you? What's that? May I ask you? Uh, well, it's uh, Skyview and um, James. I have your proposal here also. Okay. And I also have community maintenance. Um, community maintenance did um, night and runs, sidewalks, and street gutters a couple weeks ago. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I was just wondering. I've got these huge oil spots in front of my house, my lawn. Huge what? Well, oil spots. I don't. Are they in the street or on the sidewalk? It's in the street, yes. Everybody's got those mm -hmm. from the garbage <laughs> trucks. <laughs> Is there anything that can be done with that, or will you know will when they do the you know power washing, will they do something like that? Or? Well, normally they just do the gutters. Gutters, yeah. You know, and if it's close to the gutters, well, maybe. They do the streets too. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. They just do the gutters. No. We run a street sweeper through here once a year. That's it. On the streets, but the it, uh, the streets uh, they get stained from the garbage trucks all the time. You just answer my question because I have rust spots on the street. I'm <laughs> saying, how come? Where yeah. do these come from? And it's, it's, that's they a fact. Don't go it's a fact. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you try and clean the blacktop, uh, you can deteriorate it. Oh. Yeah, the only way the only way you could do it is, is to seal coat everything, and, and that will get rid of it for. Uh, Six eight months, and, and then you'll have a nice mark on your driveway. <laughs> and, and they're gonna, you know, the CDD is working now. Yeah, CDD is, is talking about resurfacing the roads, and uh, if they go through their bond issue, then it'll go away for a while. Yeah, so. I, I have a problem, and 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 James, you're representing, you're, you're here from your company. Uh, I assume this is you. Uh, you come in more. Quite a bit higher than, than well either one of the other bids. One bid is ridiculously low, which we don't know who he is even. Well, my my lowest bid would be twenty five. That would that would be it. And I'm giving you guys the sidewalks for free. Have you seen the price of gas lately? Yeah. I run my machines off gas. 
Have you thought of these? No. Gotta go green. <laughs> Joe Biden would like that. Oh, yeah. yeah, so we've got James no and then please. actually, You're I right. don't know, uh, community right. maintenance. Uh, that is Harry that does uh, uh, quite a few things back here. Uh, so. Okay, board members. What did oh, I, I'd, like, I'd like to hear one other question from James since he's here. My name's Jordan. Oh, Jordan. I've actually oh, okay. lived here for about 15 okay, years. Okay, Jordan. I actually came to Tammy and was like, hey, you know, if you need anything done, I'll take care of it. Just okay. Because of the All right. Why, why would we pay more for you than this other company? I mean, this, I'm just asking. What? That's my, that's my, if you guys, if you don't want to take it, then. Yeah. But I, I mean, I, mean I have, I just did Quill West paper roads, you know, so I mean, I, I know what I'm doing, you know, I'm not going to come in and, you know, you know, try to underbid everybody, but I mean, I gave you, gave you my bid and that's, a, that's all I can do. Tell us, gonna, tell us about your trucks and how many people and uh, how long you think it'll take to do I do have uh, three truck and trailers that I can, that I'm uh, able to use, so I mean. And what can, kind of equipment do you use to pressure wash? I use, uh, uh, you know, Honda GX 800s, they are uh, 4,000 uh, PSI, and I do have 500, or I do have a 500 gallon water tank that I can tap into, and uh, I mean, we could have this place done in probably like four weeks. When you start, uh, four, guys. when you start, will you keep going until you finish and not take uh, yeah, breaks? We're, not, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're staying in here and then we're finishing. We're not diverting. From here. Do you just power spray, or do you put a solution on there? Or? Uh, we do have a uh, chemical, or I mean, it's full chlorine. That's how you fight off the mold. That's mm -hmm. what we use. Well, does it have any effect on the vegetation? Uh, no, I mean, uh, it's diluted. You're, like really, like spraying the, you know, yeah. grass. Well, we've had people come back to say, "Well, my lawn died after they did the yeah, sidewalk." Yeah, there's no way that's gonna happen. Okay. I've been doing this for eight years. Well, with the with the chlorine, that. don't you spray it down and time it goes anywhere? It's kind of disintegrated already. Yeah, I mean, it, what we do is we spray we spray the chlorine, and within like 30 minutes, it's pressure washed away. So I mean, there's no more chemical. Are you are you using your own water supply or? Uh, you said something about a tank. We can use our own water, and then we do have a meter that is uh, for uh, the county as well. For the hybrid. Yes. Right. Okay, so, and that was where I was going. So, uh, is that a charge that the community takes for the water? Do we, do we pay no, for the, the water? No, the water's always included in on the bids, because they're all hooked up to the fire hydrants. So, well, yeah. The bid you gave us, that's all inclusive, nothing, no add-ons. No add-ons. Okay. 285 is the best I can do. I do have to say a couple of my say? neighbors use. A couple of my neighbors have used James for power washing their their houses, and yeah. they're very happy, and satisfied with them. Okay. I think Elizabeth, you had your hand up an hour ago. Well, I was going to say, um, what was the, well, the price difference from what we paid last year to this year? Is there a substantial difference, or is it about 10k more? So that's now, what would you do with the rust spots? Would you address those in that? Thing? I mean, that would we would have to bring them up, and you know, I'd have to. You'd have to see how many. Yeah, there are. I'd have to see how much you know so chemical I'd have to buy and stuff. So, yeah, I mean, everything in the, in the past, you know, three years has gone up. So yeah. Now remember, uh, Blue Water always gave us a good deal, but it sucked last year. It did. Yeah. Uh, and, yes. And again, everything has gone up. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And yep. You wouldn't jump around because we've had before. Oh, no. You know, I, did you just walk for 25? I take pride in my work, and I definitely, you know, I live here, so I, I want to see. Yeah. Well, we would sit down and do a route so we could let people know because oh, last year it was just. Oh, yeah, we'll have everything. We're definitely coming down the main drag first, so. And then we're going to hit the main Sunny Brook Golf after that, and then it's probably starting uh, on this for probably start this road and then head. Well, I always get the last. Just curious, what is, we'll move. What, is, what is the difference between the high and the low? I'm not asking you to tell me what it is, but is it? About 5,000. Uh, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, well, it depends. No, it's not, no, we're forgetting. It depends. Well, if you talk, you talk about the guy that we don't know anything about at all. No, we're not talking about I mean, his was very, very substantially lower than everybody else's. But 
On the other hand, we don't know who the heck this guy is. Sometimes you get what you pay for. It's about 5000 It's about 5000 bucks. It's about 5, bucks. Okay, well, go ahead and make a motion. Uh, I'm very impressed to have a Stony Brook resident bid on this. That I'm going to make a motion that we go with James Pressure Washing for no more than $28,500. Do we have a second? I'll second. Jim second. Discussion? Okay. There's no discussion. I didn't know. Oh, oh, I thought you did already. <laughs> the, the, the audience is making so you many applauses that I couldn't. All right. Well, all in favor, the motion states that we'll go with uh, James for a cost of 28500 All in favor, raise your right hand. Opposed, left hand. Unanimous. Okay. Good luck. We'll hold you to it. Yes. Believe me, I have no problem doing it. Right. Yeah, we know where you live. Okay, we're down to 15, Tammy. Uh, what, what's your, excuse me, what, what's your first name? George. 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 Thank you. George. Thank you. Jordan. 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 Yes. Well, we're close. Jordan. <laughs> Man, we don't already live. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're at number 15. Number 15. Um, I would like to get your approval to transfer the $8,000 that's in account 7053 on the general ledger to the Stony Brook Activities Checking Account. So the main reason I'm doing it is if we don't use those funds in the year, we lose it. Yeah. So I'd like to, and John Spina has approved me doing this along with your approval, uh, to take the full 8000 out and put it into our account here. I so make, a, mo I make a motion of such. Okay. Second. I'll second. All right. No, we got second. James. <laughs> How about a discussion? Yeah, James. Yeah. 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 Okay, discussion. Yeah. yeah. When you say if we didn't transfer it, we would lose it. How would we lose it? Well, it's a line item. And if you don't use it, then it starts over the next year at $8,000. But we're not losing it. Well, we, we're well, not the activities able to use it. committee is yeah. losing yeah. it. Yeah. Because we will maybe we'll take the eight thousand and we'll only spend six thousand year this year, but we'll have the two thousand in our account to use at our leisure the next. Do, do we have an accounting on the activities committee? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Now four years. Do we have do we have an accounting of it? How much is in, in the Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well I'd like to know. Yeah. Okay, we do. I'm confused on the question. Well, I'd like to we know what the... We have a checking account that Bill and I opened up over four years ago. Yeah. And do we have a balance in the checking account? Our yes. accountant's right back there. Stan? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the non-information, everyone. No, no, I think, I think what you're asking isn't available right this morning, but, but you No, no, I'm not right. sure what, we're, what the question is. He wants to know what, what the balance is. What the balance is. is. What, what the balance so is. $12,000. Yeah. And you want eight more. It belongs to Stony Brook Activities, and if we don't take it out of the GL. We always pay for Stony Brook Day for us. We pay for everything else. And this is the money we were going to use to do the St. Patrick's Day party to replace Stony Brook Day, correct? Correct. Because every year that's the only thing that the board pays from all the activities is Stony Brook Day. And we are, we are And Stony Brook's activity is a thing that we take money and we use it here for community events for the people that live here. Yes. And if we don't take that money out and put it in the activities account, and if we don't use it this year, and we say we only use four thousand, then we lose the other four thousand that we could use the following year to put on another event. So, uh, lots of events. So, to f I think, and Rich, correct me if, if I'm wrong. This activities fund is not part of Stony Brook's account. Yeah. It's a separate. The money that's in that check. Hang on for a second. Money we raise. Yeah. I know. So it's money you raise, and you and so I think when Rich was saying an accounting, it was like. Has there ever been an has there ever been an audit? How much of a balance is no, it? I, I, is no, that what I you're kind of no. getting no, at? Or we just we how much is it? Well, I, I just, just question where would it go? But I I think I understand because if we didn't use that line item, 
-hmm. We could not use it for anything else until the next. Correct. That's that's. And then it starts all over. Yeah. Okay. Could I just have that line item that we're going to take it from, if you know? I think you mentioned it. 7053. If you look at your sheet there, it's number 15. Right. If you're looking for the GL, is that what you want? Yeah. Oh, here it's on number 15. 7053. Yeah, got it. Thank you. That's all I wanted to know. Okay. Yeah. Did you have any other questions? I, I just got confused. No. Okay. <laughs> Any other question from the board here? Okay. Seeing none, we have a motion to transfer the eight thousand to the uh, activities uh, checking account. All in favor? Raise your right hand. Opposed? Left hand. Carried. Unanimous. Uh, I'm going to skip down to an item that um, is the last sheet on the stuff that I gave you guys tonight for Palm Casuals. Um, we had in storage, and I thought we got them all out, but we did not. We still have five chairs and nine lounges that I'd like to take back out and get reslung because uh, they are missing them at Port Rush and Lancaster. Okay. I'm glad you brought that up, Tammy, because someone talked about that to me and I was going to bring it up on the new business so mm -hmm. uh, I can't bring it up for the business was not there. Well I did talk to the people because I know that, that we have more people visiting Lancaster and they only have nine chairs. I move that we be paid twenty two hundred dollars. I'll second. Discussion. Seeing none, all in favor of the motion to uh, spend twenty two oh nine eighty eight to have this chair put back in shape. Vote. It's going to be the same color as what's up there. Okay, good. Thanks. All signify by raising your right hand. Opposed? Gary. Uh, one other item. Bill and I have been talking to the people at the play pickleball and the people that play bocce courts or bocce. Uh, we do have volunteers that they have said that they would, for one, at the pickleball, they would like to buy pavers and do a platform thing underneath the table so they're not getting mud all over their shoes and then going out on the courts. We have agreed to, uh, it was under the $1,500, we agreed to go ahead and get the supplies and then Gil, I'm not sure. Degla and his group. Yeah, yeah and his group had, is going to do the work to install it. They're hoping to start Saturday if we have I any I think they're going to get delivery Thursday of the stuff. Uh, same with the bocce courts. Um, we, I haven't gotten numbers on that yet, but there's some pieces of wood that need to be done, and then, then we have people willing to stain it, do the staining. Volunteers. Oh. It, it's nice that we're getting volunteers to do some of this. That yeah. saves money and get some community involvement going. Can I raise another issue, Tammy, uh, of something that was brought up to me? That we, those bocce courts, I mean, the, Pickleball courts get a lot of activity. Oh, that's my next and, item. And I'll forego it. Go ahead. Well, there's been some folks would love to see another tennis court taken over for two pickleball courts. And I think that's not a bad idea. I, I, you get them in the daytime, people are waiting to play pickleball, and then they have a league at night that's just as busy. So I don't know if this is the same thing you're going to. Well, what I'm talking about is uh, Bill and I have talked about this, and we'd not like to change, but we'd like to add striping, which is very commonly done now. Pickleball striping that would go alongside with the tennis striping. And like the Estero Center, they've got three different stripings, one for basketball, one for tennis, one for pickleball on one court. My guess is I did a thing, I contacted more sports, but I haven't heard back from them. But when I went online, it's anywhere from 600 to 800 to do an additional striping. And we thought, why we're doing them, why not do them all? Because I've seen the people, they have 15, 20 people waiting for pickleball courts Great. during well, the two I, What I heard months. back today from the people that were pushing that, that uh, they decided against it. Because some people would be too confusing yeah. to the people playing to know which court they were playing on. 
And I've gotten people in my office today, what do you mean you're not doing it? Everybody's excited. Yeah, that's what I heard today from group of people. It, I, you know, when you, my next concern would be, would it be confusing to the tennis players when they have all yeah, that's why I say it. That's why I would like to see a tennis court totally I, converted to I, a pickle. I couldn't support that. There's, there's, well, just that's enough, fine. there's just enough tennis players that would be out of, out of their mind. I don't see them playing. I, I know, but they do ball. play. You, you, know, you see it on next door. Like, I be, you know, I've got a, a, a 18 year or a 15 year old daughter that wants to play tennis. Can I someone come to Stony Brook and teach me how to play tennis? I, think, I mean, they're, 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 they do get used. It does get used. Not a lot. Okay, Tammy. Hey, you, we'll get you folks out there since the board's done haggling mm -hmm. here. Okay. But no, I, 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 I've heard it both ways. And I, I've looked I, at it. My question it before it was even raised. Could it be confusing to the tennis players yes. by having new paintings on I the think tennis court? I accommodate for the people that live, like, you know, that's the number one growing sport in America is pickleball. Yep. You know? yep. I agree. That's all I see out there. I'm out here every day. I'm pretty active. You know, I, that's all I see out there. Yeah, well, I've, I've seen people playing ten tennis the other day when we were out checking the sidewalk, there were people playing tennis. Yeah. Uh, the thing I noticed when we were out there the day that we were looking at the sidewalk, since people were playing tennis, there was actually nobody playing pickleball. This was one in the afternoon. So you weigh it both yeah, ways. That's, that's, we discussed this, a, play. We, we discussed this a, a long time, uh, three, four years ago, when we were changing back over the pickleball. The pickleball players uh, are going to be trying something tomorrow they do at most pickleball courts, is they're going to have a paddle box out there. And you put your paddle in the slot, mm -hmm. and that's how you go. And uh, the gentleman that's doing the bricks has already made the boxes and has them paint it up and stuff there and start that tomorrow and see how that works. But you still have to keep the, the tennis courts where they're at. And it was the board decision that back when, and I think before we talk about spending money on another pickleball court or two, we have to analyze from the tennis perspective side whether one court's sufficient or if we're infringing on them as well. Okay, we'll get the lady had her hand up first. Okay, day. my question is, if you paint the pickleball stripes a totally different color than what's for tennis, I don't see where there should be a problem. Even though you have your, what they call the kitchen in the front, right? Mm -hmm. Even if you paint that, let's say you paint the stripes for pickleball blue. You paint the stripes for the tennis white. At least pickleball knows where they need to be, and tennis doesn't have to worry about the blues. I have a question. Wait, hang on, Jim. Let the gentleman speak first. Well, what I was going to say, whatever you do, you do. But one of the things I notice, I always walk the dogs up through there. One of the things you need to take a hard look at is a lot of that screening is bent way in and curled because the clips that holds the screen to the tubing has come off. So one of the things you, you need to do, I think, no matter what the cord is, is fix the screen, which you really is, you pull it back, you know, they put the metal yeah, I think that that's in the budget this year to fix those yes. the tennis I the, the fences. Well, we just had some I of that we had done. Some repair, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. not all of it. Yeah, I think yeah, just that's, the bottom yeah. Of it. yeah, we know what we're talking about, and, and that's that that's been budgeted for. So okay. we're, we're going we're going to be getting into doing that work. But right now, when you try and get work done, there's nobody to do it because everybody's yeah. down here. So we're, we're going to be meeting next week and the week, week after to look at the capital outlays and get right. stuff done. Jim, question is. Does anybody know, can the same net be used for it, both tennis and pickleball? It has, they, you pull the center of it down with a bungee strap that measures 34 inches and it sort of evens out. So I asked about that one. I would suggest, we can we can beat this one up all night, but why don't we talk to the powers that be to play with the pickleball and let them take a poll of what they want and come back to us? Yeah, how about that, that lady that's with having the teaching that's ranked number one in the world for pickleball? 
business with him. Have well, Gill is pretty good too. I mean, Gill is. He's, 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 he's well, that was that was that, that was the summer. That was the summer thing. Yeah, that's well, probably just ask her the comment, ask the question, whether it's what her opinion is. Well, something. if we go back to Adam, the guy that I came. have to go back to Adam. Yeah, I don't know okay. yeah we can talk to Adam. But I do think to find out from the pickleball people first how many are in favor of doing that, and then we have to catch some people who are playing tennis and see where that sits. Because I don't think we want to alienate anybody. No. And we had enough uh, discussion on that when we put the pickleball. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now there was four. There, there were four. We took two of them, or three of them. So let, let's do that if everybody has no problem with that. And then we'll know. So this is tables. Yeah. Yeah, because we got to so we'll, get more information. We'll bring it. Yeah, I'll come back up in April so we have time to work on it. <laughs> Okay, Tammy, we still got a couple on there. Just a couple. Uh, the ballot and proxies in the whole packet um, that you will be uh, using to vote, please vote. Uh, we'll be going out. You should be getting it the first week of March. If for any reason you don't get it in a reasonable amount of time, I will have extras here at the community center. Annual meeting is March 16th, 6.30 at the Estero Recreation Center. Tammy, are we going to have a meet the candidate? Uh, there was talk about that, but uh, be it that all four have been on the board, I got the impression it was not needed. I heard a lot of new residents. Yeah, a lot of new residents. I, I, I'd like to see it. I'd like to see it. Doesn't hurt. And, and I think I asked Elizabeth the same question. She made a good point that if you don't have one, even though the four people showed up last year for it. Um, yeah. You know, people get the impression, or what are you trying to hide? You don't want to. You don't want to meet with me. That, answer my question. I mean, so it's, you know, it's up to the, the candidates. But we got three, four, four of them here, so we can ask the question. Oh. Your decision. I think we should. Yeah. <laughs> I would try. Wait, 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 wait. Gentlemen's first. Another thing I noticed out there when I'm walking the dogs. Does anybody play sand volleyball? <laughs> no. What's in a great while? Well, the reason the reason I mention it is neither here nor there, aside from the fact that sometime we ought to have our yard guys square out that property because the weeds have been coming in. It looks like hell. So if they, if they you know, just square it out like to whatever the size the court's supposed to be, pull out the extra weeds, and two years later you don't have to do it again. It, it looks pretty shabby. And I'm not a saying 